in the previous lecture i have discussed about the modern theory or chemical theory for origin of life and in this lecture i am going to discuss about the experimental evidences supporting chemical theory or for formation of simple organic compounds actually heldin hypothesis did not find much support without scientific experimentations so for the support of chemical theory miller and ure conducted experiment in mimicking primitive earth environment so here is the experimental design used for the experiment is given here and you can see that the experimental setup consists of a glass flask a condenser and a liquid flask and these flasks are interconnected with tubes and a source of electric spark as you can see here spark two diodes are there for the electric supply and for generate energy now he introduced a mixture of methane ammonia and hydrogen in the ratio of 2 is to 1 is to 2 and water in the form of vapor at the temperature of the 8000 degrees celsius now he allowed to circulate the mixture into the closed glass apparatus as you can see here closed glass apparatus for 18 days continuously and he provided energy in the form of spark by this two diodes by supplying electricity of 75000 volts through two electrodes so now the electric spark mimic lightning in the primitive earth atmosphere and while passing the mixture gases were passed gases were passes through a liquid flask to simulate the volcano the mixture was collected from the stop cock or this u turn u trap and analyze using chromatographic and calorimetric techniques and this dark red fluid was found to contain some substances and there are some substances like the simple amino acids like glycine alanine aspartic acids etc and some of the simple organic acids like formic acetic oxalic lactic succinic acid etc and some of the pentose hexose aldehyde and ketone etc these are some substances found in the dark red fluid that was trapped in the u trap here now now what happened the analysis of the mixture indicate the presence of amino acids nitrogen bases adenine and simple sugar like ribose in addition he found hydrogen cyanide formaldehyde and other active intermediate compounds such as the acetyl acetylene and cyanoacetylene the chemical reaction which might explain the for formation of these compounds are as follows the first of all the formation of hydrogen cyanide and formaldehyde means how these hydrogen cyanide and formaldehyde originate we know that the atmospheric carbon dioxide degrade into carbon monoxide and atomic oxygen now atomic oxygen combined with methane and gave rise to the formaldehyde and water and carbon monoxide combined with ammonia gave rise to hydrogen cyanide and water now both the molecules like methane one molecules and ammonia one molecules combined with each other and form hydrogen cyanide and hydrogen gas so in this simple chemical reactions hydrogen cyanide and formaldehyde generate now formation of glycine because glycine is the simplest amino acid and amino acids are the building blocks of the protein so how the glycine is formed the formaldehyde as we have been discussed earlier the formaldehyde uh, origin of the formaldehyde ammonia and hydrogen cyanide so the formaldehyde ammonia and hydrogen cyanide these three molecules combined with each other to give rise glycine amino acid that is the simplest amino acid so from these compounds how various forms of life was originate we will discuss 
in the biological evolutions so be ready for the next lecture that is biological evolutions